Hey everybody. Thought I'd do a channel update and I got a new camera and this is our spoiled cat. Now this spoiled cat, you can lay her on her back and rub her and rub her and rub her until you're tired of rubbing on her, you know? So anyway, her name is Sophie and she's the one that's always photobombing me. So I'll put her down so she can run to my wife and we'll, we'll uh, carry on. So it's been, I think since August, since I've done an update. And uh, back then, I think I had the uh, cabinets were all piled around the kitchen and nothing installed. But now before I start on this update, I realize it's been a long time since I've done an update, but there's a couple things that I want to share with you. Um, so I run into a stent where I had some blood clots and uh, pneumonia, so that slowed me down. But that's really kind of irrelevant. Um, the cabinets, you recall, there were some of them damaged, some of them um, due to quality assurance problems. Some of them were shipper damage. They said that they would rush the order and uh, it, that normally it would take two to three weeks. But it took closer to eight weeks. Actually, I think it did take eight weeks. And then uh, had the Davis boys install them. They've done a great job. I learned some things about my house that I didn't know, especially uh, about ceiling sag. I didn't know there was such a thing. Uh, but once the cabinets went in, I, I learned that uh, there's some sag and I'm gonna have to uh, work around it. Uh, then in October, I ordered the counter, uh, the granite, supposedly in time to have it installed by Thanksgiving. Well, that didn't happen. It took uh, eight weeks just for the cabinet company to get the granite. So they said that everything is just behind because of COVID and maybe so. So here's, uh, here's what I have to say about it in a nutshell. Um, I bought the cabinets through Lowe's. Uh, they're Shenandoah cabinets. And my advice to anybody um, is don't buy Shenandoah cabinets, right? M mostly not, uh, well, it's partially because of the amount of time that I had to wait. But I mean, uh, I don't think, uh, if you don't have enough uh, packaging and quality assurance control to be able to ship your product without them getting damaged or, or messed up, and then you take an abnormal amount of time uh, to rush replacements, you know, nobody wants to be without their kitchen that long. You remember how long ago we started this, and my wife has just started yesterday to wash a bunch of stuff up and start putting things away. Um, you'll see a pile of cast iron on the stove that still needs to be she needs to be seasoned and put away and there's some cooling down in the oven now but anyway um, counters in I'll give you a walkthrough and kind of catch you up so I'll catch you in just a second okay so here's a straight view into the kitchen um, to the left here you'll see the uh, sink and the faucet dishwasher and stove refrigerator um, I put in inset lighting all the cabinets are hung the the granite is in um, under counter lights are installed and they're pretty handy you can set multiple brightness on them they actually have all kinds of settings on them but uh, very very useful my wife in the uh, beginning you know she says I feel like I'm in a dark dungeon and if you remember the beginning of the uh, of this project we only had a couple lights so there's still some to do, um, some stuff to do. Let me bring you over here. I uh, don't have the uh, window trimmed in yet. It's coming and uh, I still got to do the backsplash and I'll show you the backsplash here in just a minute. Um, I guess that's really about all of that. The, I'm gonna swing you around here. Hopefully I don't get you too seasick. So here you see uh, the dining room and you notice I have most of the floor installed. Uh, now this is a, a vinyl planking. It's 100% uh, waterproof. I bought this through uh, the Home Despot and uh, has a lifetime residential warranty. Um, I think I still had to hang this door over here to the basement. Um, it's in. And then I'm gonna walk you up here to the hallway. If, if you recall, or maybe you don't, I don't know. The hallway had, uh, our, or the doors that we had in our house were all those uh, brown, uh, smooth skin, Luan doors. I replaced them with the colonist style doors and, um, you know, new handle hardware and everything. 
Now the handle hardware is not installed on the basement door yet. It still needs to be painted. So, um, let me uh, let me change views here and uh, catch you here in just a second. Okay, so recall that uh, my wife wanted to change out the ceiling fixture. It's changed out. There are a couple of other things here to do. I still got all the trim and everything to do. The cold air return, uh, she has a new one of those picked out. That one's all dented up and won't stay shut. It's almost unusable. I'm almost done laying the floor. Um, I have a little bit of hallway and then up the side of the wall here to do. And then over where the sliding doors, there's a, uh, a little strip to do, but I will, I will do that. I'll finish a little strip on the other side when I get done with the, uh, when I get done with the, uh, the living room, because this will flow. Let's see, I'll turn this here. I don't know how much we can see. I probably need to turn on the, uh, living room light, but I will flow this floor here into the living room. Uh, so it has no, so it doesn't have a transition. And then the uh, living room will be next. As soon as I finish up uh, the rest of the floor, I'll unload the living room into here. I got a bunch of, I've got a bunch of uh, uh, wall work to do, you know, some, some plaster repair work, you know, some mudding stuff and still got to finish up uh, the inside of the, of the, um, archway uh, speaking of the archway I'll take you to the uh, other side of the archway in the hallway and let you look back toward the kitchen so hang on a second and I'll be right back okay so here we're at the other end of the hall looking back toward the kitchen you can see the back side of the arch I still have the inside of the arch to paint but it's it's pretty much all done I still have all the trim work I will do all the trim work at uh, at one time because there'll be a lot of nail holes to, to fill and and a lot of molding to cope and that sort of stuff. Now I'm going to take you back into the kitchen and I'm going to talk you about talk about a little bit about the ceiling sag thing. So let me get the camera in position and I'll bring you right back in. Okay, so I'm standing here in the kitchen and hopefully the audio on this camera picks up. This is a, I just bought a new GoPro. That's a Hero 9 and I don't know how good the audio is or how, how good it picks up. I don't even know how good it's... This is the very first video really that I've done for YouTube for it, so we'll see. So up here you'll see that I have about three and a half inches of the starter molding, right? And my intention was to run that around there and then put some crown at the top. But what happened, or what the reality of the situation is, if you can see over here, I got about two and a half inches. And the result of that is because, you know, the ceiling has dropped or sagged, you know, over the life of the house. And I think the house was built in about 81, 82, somewhere here. So it's got a few years on it. Uh, so that sort of messed up my idea about just putting flowing trim all the way around. So I think what I want to do is uh, I just want to cover the reveal that's left because it's sort of varying heights. It had to be in order to install that starter strip up there. So I'm going to take a very, very low profile uh, trim, uh, color match to the cabinets. And yes, you have to color match white, believe it or not, uh, to sort of so that the, the reveal is all hidden and the reveal to the starter trim is wide enough that it won't catch your eye that there's a almost an inch difference between there and here. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. All right, so look, I'm gonna, uh, I wanna do a slideshow um, to you know show you what I've done up here, just like in the other ones. Uh, if this stuff interests you, or you know, if you're entertained a little bit, please consider uh, you know pressing like or subscribe or share with your friends. Um, I do want to uh, mention a couple people who were, uh, or a few people actually, who were very instrumental in helping me. I like to thank the Davis uh, boys. They uh, they hung my uh, they hung my cabinets. They hung my front door, my screen door, and uh, I had never hung a, a solid jam door. So uh, he took some time to teach me how to hang a solid jam door. So I, I re really appreciate that. Now remember, I'm a computer geek by trade, right? And I'm not a, oh, I'm not a anything. I'm not a machinist, a teacher, a, a carpenter, a nothing, right? But now I have found some very talented people on through YouTube um, that I want to throw their name out there. One is uh, Joe Latender. Uh, he's a floor and tile guy. He has uh, he has a lot of videos on on uh, vinyl planking, tile, and that sort of stuff. 
And the other one is Eddie Case. Uh, Eddie Case, uh, I think he goes by The Basement Man on YouTube. But now he has a thing called like uh, Basement Finishing University, Kitchen Remodeling University. You know, it's a series of videos that you can buy. I purchased those. They were very, very affordable. I caught them on sale. Uh, both of these gentlemen give support in uh, Facebook groups, right? Um, and they've been stellar. So, you know, is it, do I endorse them? Well, I endorse the people and their product because I've, I've learned enormous amounts. All right, so that's enough blathering for me. Uh, I'll start up the slideshow here directly. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience because I know it's been, I think, August since I put out uh, a, an update video on this. And I'm hoping that they'll come a little sooner now that uh, I'm starting to make progress again. So other than that, have a blessed day. So Logan and Garrett, they've been at it about three and a half hours to make quite a bit of progress. They got uh, the uppers done all the way across the back. They're coming around on each side. I think Garrett is uh, measuring in here for the kitchen sink and a little spice rack. Everything that's a glorified pain in the butt, I think. But it's coming along looking pretty good. So we get a little further along. I'll bring you back in and I'll show you. Well, Garrett and Logan uh, finished for the day. They'll be back tomorrow to finish up. I'll uh, give you a, a quick run through here to see. Uh, still got doors to put on, hardware and base plate and starter molding and stuff at the top to do. You get an idea how it's uh, going to be. Maybe I can get Melissa to walk in there so you can get an idea of, oh, she ain't going to do it. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, at least you get an idea. So we did, we lost maybe just a little bit of kitchen space, uh, but not much. And, and actually, Melissa seems to think that she didn't lose any at all. So uh, after this, still got to order uh, the granite countertops and got to do the flooring and the backsplash. Still lots and lots to do. So uh, when I have more to update, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back in and show you. Well, the boys are back at it this morning and they're doing the finishing touches. They're hanging doors and hardware and adjusting doors level and all that sort of stuff. It's getting pretty close to being done, uh, at least this portion of it. Uh, Garrett and Logan have done an awesome job. And I will say this, if you're in the Humphreys County, Tennessee area or the surrounding counties uh, and you need some finished work, they do cabinetry and, and doors and flooring and all kinds of stuff, uh, reach out to me and I'll give you their contact information. So when uh, they get closer to being done, I'll bring you back in. All right, so uh, the boys finally just uh, finished up. All the hardware is on. Uh, there's a little bit of work left to do. I have to uh, lay floor. That's uh, a floating uh, vinyl floor. I'll show it to you here in just a second. Uh, you'll see that there's some... I was uh, surprised actually to learn or to discover how much a ceiling sags, dips, and drops, and swoons, and all that sort of stuff. So you'll see that uh, the starter molding up there is a little uneven, but. What I'm going to do is uh, find some narrow crown to put up there to uh, blend it up into the ceiling and and hopefully that'll take care of that. Um, here's uh, here's the floor that we're going to put in. This is a vinyl um, planking floor that uh, locks together. It's, uh, it's supposed to be 100% waterproof, lifetime residential um warranty and uh five-year commercial warranty so that's uh that's uh going to be the next thing but now before i can start that i uh my plan on running it here in the kitchen and the dining room and into the living room but now before i can actually start i'm gonna run it into the hall I'll turn on some light here uh, I'll run it into the hall, but I want to replace these doors with some um, six panel colonial doors. So I'll pull all these doors out. Uh, well, I'll get my doors, pull all these doors out, get the underlayment down, get the floor down, and then kind of go from there. And then, of course, my basement door, I've not hung it yet. It's a 15 light French door. Um, we'll go right here. This is uh, goes down to my to my basement. So uh, I do want to spend a couple minutes and talk about um, the cabinet company. So let me uh, let me get set up on a tripod and and I'll close this video out and we'll talk from there. So I'll catch you in a second. <laughs>
Thank you.